Hello and welcome to Spoiled by Coco. My name is Apurvi and in this channel I share with you eggless recipes. So let's get baking. For making shortbread, in a bowl add 58 gram butter, 22 gram caster sugar and half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix all together using a spatula. We do not want to cream butter and sugar. Instead. Just mix them till sugar is completely dissolved in. Once that is done, I am going to add 86 grams of all-purpose flour. Next goes in pinch of salt. Skip if using salted butter. Mix everything together till a dough is formed. Do not overwork the dough to make the most tender melt in your mouth buttery shortbread. Transfer the mixture to a pre-lined baking pan. Here I am using a 5 inch pan. Press it lightly with the help of a spatula to form the base for our bake well shortbread. And do not forget to cover all the sides of your baking pan. Bake it in a preheated oven at 160C for 5 minutes. Moving on, let us now make the eggless almond cream. In a clean bowl, add 50 grams of butter and sugar each, 1 by 4 teaspoon of vanilla extract and 2 to 3 drops of almond extract. Mix everything together with the help of a hand whisk. Next add in 50 grams of yogurt and mix the mixture properly till all the sugar has dissolved completely. The mixture may look cuddle but that's okay. Next add 50 grams of almond flour and 20 grams of all purpose flour. Finish it off with a pinch of salt. I am going to mix everything together with the help of a spatula till no flour is visible and a batter is formed. As always, do not over mix the batter. Stop once you see that there is no flour visible. Moving on, I have taken out my shortbread after 5 minutes of baking it in the oven. And now I am going to spoon cherry compote all over it. You can find the in-house recipe by clicking on the right upper corner or in the description box below. I am going to smooth it out with the back of a spoon taking care to not spread it all the way to the sides and leaving the edges uncovered. Next add the prepared almond cream. I am adding it a spoonful at a time starting from the edges and sides taking care to cover it first so that our cherry compote does not leak off from sides. You can do this step by using a piping bag also. Add all the almond cream batter in it, then pipe the batter. This will ensure that everything is covered with almond cream. Also, it gets easier clearing up. Now, using a small spatula, I am going to spread my almond cream such that it covers our shortbread and cherry compote completely. All the while, helping us in getting an even and a smooth layer of almond cream on top. Lastly, before baking, I am going to sprinkle some chopped almonds all over to garnish and for some bite. Then bake it in a preheated oven by raising my oven temperature from 160 to 170 C for 10 to 12 minutes till it is nice golden brown in color and the sponge springs back when pressed lightly. Other skewers come out clean. While that's baking, you can please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on the bell icon so that you get notified each time my new recipes come. Once out of the oven, let it cool down completely before slicing your bake well shortbread with a serrated knife. Please comment below how do you like the video. Also, tag us hashtag spoiled by Coco on Instagram and Facebook when you try the recipe or pin us on pin interest.
Look how beautiful our Bakewell shortbread has been. Cherry compote, sandwich between buttery shortbread and almond cream. I hope you will give this recipe a try at home inspired from Bakewell tart and enjoy it. Thank you for watching. It's called by Coco.